What is up guys? Welcome to the big unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the Galaxy Note 9. Today we got the Spigen Ultra Hybrid and this is going to be the 360 version that comes with the temper glass as well. So I really like the other, I, got, I think I reviewed the Thin Fit with the 360 protection and you really can't go wrong with that price point. It's like under 20 bucks and you get a tempered glass screen protector and a case so i was going to check this one this one out as well see if it's a hit or miss now it's only gotten three and a half stars versus the other one gotten four stars so we'll check this one out together it only comes in two different colors you got the black and the blue i'd like to see a few more color options but we'll check this one out together guys and see if it's a hit or a miss for that galaxy note 9 presentation premium enough speaking right there 360 protection, real glass screen protector. So anytime, you, I mean, $17.99, you get a case and then a screen protector as well. Now the screen protector is not going to be full glue, full adhesive, and say what you want. I, I know that's the issue for me and most people, but I can't complain with that price point. That's just something I can't complain about if they're giving me a 2-4 for the price point. So 360 protection on the back is going to show you what you're actually going to get. So we'll check this out together, guys, and see if it's a hit. Just pop it open like that. They get a little tab right here. Let's try it. No issues, no struggles needed. Let's get right to it. Yeah, I was definitely a big fan of the other one for that price point. Under 20 bucks, that thin fit with the actual screen protector. Very nice protection. Very minimalist protection. So in my opinion, you can't really go wrong with that if you're looking for a case combination with the case and the screen protector. Here's your instructions. Put that to the side. Got the usual suspects right here. Got a dust removal sticker. You got a wipe, a wet wipe. We'll put that right there to the side. Microfiber cloth. And then here's your case itself. Now this case has definitely got some nice, it's crystal clear. You know, everybody's worried about crystal clear because you'll get that yellowish tint. My other problem, or I guess the good thing about this one is, you can see it's got that black bumper. So you're probably not going to get the yellowish tint on the corners like you would if it's crystal clear on all the edges. So that's nice. So it's definitely got a nice quality to it. Very, very nice looking. Very lightweight, which is something I would expect a little more, a little more bulk. But this is very lightweight in terms of overall protection i can't say you're going to get a lot but if you throw in the temper glass screw protector on you're probably covered you're probably good to go so let's go and check out the main feature i would say the co-main feature here's the actual temper glass screen protector again it's not full adhesive so when i say that the glue is just gonna be on the bottom top and then you're probably going to get some glue on that black border on the sides but it's got a nice curved feel to it it should apply very nicely and i was pretty impressed with the Spigen version for the thin fit that I did. So let's go and check this out. Let me go ahead and read the instructions real quick. I'll be right back. Hold tight. We'll, uh, we'll wrap up this review in a minute. Thank you. Hey right, guys, so I went ahead and applied the case. So that's what you want to do first. So wipe it down, wipe it down, then apply the case to it. And we'll do the full review of the case in a second. But I do want to do the installation first. So then what we want to do is take the wet wipe, lens care, whatever you want to call it. We'll call it a wet wipe just for a practicality purpose and give it a quick wipe down. Obviously you wanna make sure you're getting this in front of some direct lighting, some good lighting. Give it a clean bath, clean up the corners, edges, top of the foam, as much as you possibly can. Do it in front of some good lighting. Make sure it looks very clean before you do apply the tempered glass screen protector. So that looks pretty decent, at least from behind the camera at least. And then what I'll do is take the microfiber cloth Wipe it down, wipe it down, dry it off. It's pretty good. At this point, you should be just having a few little dust particles on there. And then what you want to do is take one of these dust removal stickers that come in super handy. If anybody that was on the fence about using these, I would definitely recommend checking these out. They're actually very, very helpful. There you go. There you go, look at it. So give it all the edges, all the corners, all the cracks. There we go, looks pretty good. Then what you wanna do is kinda of get a game plan how you're gonna do the installation. Now, what you kinda of wanna do is use the case as a, I would say an installation tool. So it should be an alignment tool. So it should be aligned up just right for the actual screw protector to be installed. So then you would take the adhesive off or take the layer off that gets to the adhesive part. 
kind of set it up right there, even it out right there. Let's check this out. Looks good. Then what you want to do is start from the middle, work the air out of it because what it is is you're, it's no adhesive in the middle. So work that air out before you go to the sides to get that final seal and then do that final seal all the way around the edges. Should be pretty good at that point. So what you're getting, let's check it out. So look at that tempered glass screen protector, full edge to edge. Now you can see how much room you got a little bit of room to breathe around the edges. So there's no issues at all with compatibility. Obviously you wouldn't anyways, because this is a Spigen product, but you're getting full coverage, edge to edge protection. One thing I really like about this case is check out that lip protection on the top. Check out the lip protection on the bottom. Obviously you're not getting much on the sides, but look at how much lip protection you're getting. So if you do drop it, you're hoping it's going to hit that actual lip first. But actually the screen protector, in my opinion, is pretty quality, pretty well made. It's right on par because there's really not too many great screen protectors. But I would say this is just as good as the Zag one that you're paying 50 bucks for because that's not full glue anyway. So I would say this one's a premium screen protector for that price point. Give you guys a look at the back. That crystal clear looks beautiful. You can see how it looks right there. It looks gorgeous. I'm guessing that anybody that has that blue version, that bumper should look very clean with it. Samsung logo popping through. Fingerprint sensor cutouts precise. Getting really nice camera coverage. Very impressed with that camera coverage right there. Nicely done. Give you guys a look at this thing. Shining through. That To me, this gray, this silver version that they came out with late in the game is the best looking color. I don't know about you guys, but I think that thing looks gorgeous. That's just a side note. Me going off a little tangent here, volume up and down, clicking responsive, power button, or that's the Bixby button. I always mess with that one. You can see I forgot to mention a little speaking branding right there on the sides. Very clean, subtle. Cutouts look precise. Speaker grill, S Pen, easy access, no issues at all. I always do this because it looks so clean together. Look at that. Boom. Beautiful. Let's pop it back in. I just did that just to just show it off. I think that S Pen looks gorgeous. And then power button is clicking responsive. Give you guys some different angles of this thing before I wrap it up. Overall though, to me, honestly, if you're looking for a case combination, you can't go wrong with this for under 20 bucks. I'd say this is a hit. Screen protector is not going to be completely the best because it is going to show the fingerprints. It's not going to have that full adhesive in the middle. But for what you're paying for this combination, to me, this is a hit. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hit or miss, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.